It's time to lose my mind over more Curse 40 Golf nonsense. So, I had done to the Arctic level in the first video, so now we're gonna do Mezzanine. Me mezzanine. It's probably Mezzanine, but I really want to call it Mezzanine. It's been a pleasure to host you, Hugh. The multidimensional exchange program has a rich history of sharing knowledge. I remember eons ago when it was just a celestial burst, a watch from the center of the universe. They have many names that seem to be very popular there. Perhaps you've heard of them? The Watcher? I mean, that overpowered Slay the Spire class? A synonym for the Witness? Anyway, here we are. Wow, what the? So, I think there's like maybe some 40 toys outside. Okay, so because this game is 40, you can use hold left click and rotate the view. So maybe I want to go there, actually. So let's try that, I don't know. <laughs> These patterns are real cursed. Hmm. Uh, okay. I really hope that I actually got closer to the hole. <laughs> there's something up there as well. If I switch to vorte- <clears throat> Volume view. <laughs> Is that a platform that is slowly moving up and down? I think that's what it is. Okay. Okay, I guess this is what it is. So now we're moving up. And probably the hole will be somewhere around here then. Though, I still can't see it from this angle. It's there down the slope. Okay. Alright. Over here. Getting kicked along a 40 axis as well. Okay. Hmm, but I need to... Gosh, even Vortex views can freaking show this well. I want a straight shot to the goal, hoping that this will do it. Damn it, it actually did hit the goal, interestingly enough. I mean, it just overshot it. Hmm, like, aiming things around a hill is difficult. Okay, there we go, got it. So, unfortunately, not par. It's apparently hard as hell to get par. There's also been some things I discovered in the settings that might help me. Like, I can change the putting style to meter to show a meter. And then the ghost color can turn into uh, a setting that basically tries to visualize the 40 ghosts. So now, some things will be red and some will be green. Which, like, visualize the distance of the 40 projection, whether it's above or below you in 40. There's also the thing about this crystal, which I probably should be checking for more lore. Paintings are drawn on a flat canvas in three dimensions, but in four dimensions, paintings are drawn on 3D canvases. <laughs> yes, a 40B can see an entire 3D volume at once, like an MRI or CT scan of an entire 3D being. All right, thank you, 40 doctor. So the path to... Of course I'm getting pushed by this small thing on the ground. And then the whole... Seriously? Okay. If, if, if walking on around these rotating 40 things is a pain in this view, it'll be so much more of a pain. Oh, Klein Bottle. But the Klein Bottle is still only a 2D surface, but it's brought into the fourth dimension like a ribbon. <laughs> Wait, all smooth... All smooth surfaces can be untangled and overlap in four dimensions. The Klein Bottle is not special. Klein bottle lore. And I believe the hole would be on the other side of all this nonsense. Yes, it is. All right. Well, unfortunately, this is quite a long path, so we can see in volume view what the thing that I would have to try to, uh, you know, try to get to in order to get this through. This doesn't seem that easy to make it through. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, I can, at least I can slide past the rotating door, maybe. Oh, I'm not getting hit by it? Hmm. Well, I need to make my way through another windmill. No, 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 no. <sighs> now, now I need to use more freaking colored views, like this one. Or maybe not, because there's still a wall in the way. So I need to kind of get used to this metered view as well. Okay, this is insane. <clears throat> Thanks, door. here oh my gosh just make small go just just make a small <laughs> is this how it feels to rub a 40 ball I, I i wasn't trying to aim that hard into it just wanted to get in between there just like that so, the, so then it would just naturally glide me over to the side Very natural. Oh my god. Okay, there it is. Probably. I need to go this way, too. There's, there was some green thing on the... On that side. 
I believe that's just one of the 40 projections. Okay. Through there, please. There we go. Move for lucky. We can get across this one too for free. All right, there's the hole. Oh my god, this is still so many strokes, though. What the? Freaking upwards dimension. Alright. Here. <laughs> Nine over par. Incredible. Alright, here we have a par four moving target. Okay, what, here? No, that's way too tiny then. Are, the, are speedrun edge hits possible? Look here. Alright. Okay, wait for it to stand still before I make a shot. Wait, wait, no, 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 hold on. No, okay, god. Here. <laughs> what? What? What was that scam? Is this, the, is this any more visible in this view? No, you just don't even get to see the freaking platform in this view, huh? Hmm. So, maybe we should uh, check the crystal. Maybe it'll give us some information on how to conceptualize it. This is a compound of five overlapping 16 cells. Thanks a lot. Alright, ball. Rotate so we can see the platform. It was this platform, wasn't it? Which is now like rotating away. We can see like a wireframe over that platform is because it's going through the fourth dimension. But it's not good that it's going through the fourth dimension. This is going to just disappear below me. Or hopefully it'll, the ball will follow it in the fourth dimension. Okay, we, we, get, we get a little bit of a platform there. So now... The hole. Where, where the hell is the hole? I may have completely lost track and made a turnaround. Like I have no idea. Like isn't the hole, is the hole on this side? Okay, you know I, I don't I don't freaking know how that happened, but whatever. Let's just go here. The hole seems to be here. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Oh my god! Come on! All right, hole. There it is. Pop art, supposedly. So there is a... Well, where's the moving platform, I guess? Hmm. I, wanna, I don't want to hit that green thing so bad. Boing. <laughs> so the problem is there's probably moving platform here. But I don't freaking know where it is. Is this a thing that automatically moves up or something when I go over, over it? Oh, it's a bouncy platform. Okay. Well, great job, me, that I'm on such a side angle to hit this. Nah, okay, nice. Perfectly as intended. Now we need to line this up in the, by rotating in 40 until that next platform becomes solid. So I can actually see it. There we go. Dang it, okay. I mean, if I'm lucky enough, I get to roll on both platforms, which is actually kind of viable almost yes okay dang ah so close to all right let's hit, hit it with one there we go all right carousel is that it's not visibly moving when it's which means it's probably actually rotating and it's gonna be cursed like how is it even gonna come to a stop yep it is rotating but I guess I'm still in the same position to seemingly <laughs> hmm like I, I don't know if I want to hit an edge or something nope nope I don't get a lot of opportunity to make this count I want to hit the edge there we go okay nice but what the hell is even going on here what the what <laughs> Where's the whole view? It's here. It looks like I'm moving on the platform. I mean, maybe it's not what's actually happening, but what the? Volume view. Hmm. Okay, I mean, volume view shows that I am getting closer to this.
Okay, there's the hole. Alright, now into the hole. Which is like just there. There we go. I would like to have had a replay of that in non-volume view, because, geez, I don't know what was happening there. I'm gonna get crushed between these. There's also crystal here. Can we, can we even access this? Rotate. Trying to get, get on the same plane as that, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Push into the same. Just trying to walk to this museum thing here. In four dimensions, there are six platonic solids, the most in any dimension. In any dimension, you, there's lower platonic solids in a lower in a higher dimension. This 24 cell has no analogous shape in three dimensions and is made of a 24 octahedra. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's um. Let's try to get to that side, I don't know. In this view, it's actually, it looks, why does it look so much easier in this view, huh? Ow, ow oh my god. Oh, something happened there. So what's the equivalent of me getting pushed? There, I guess there is no equivalent of me getting pushed in this view. Okay, here. This is on the other side of the, whatever that thing was. Squash. Hole? Where's the hole view? What? What? What do you mean there? What do you mean the hole is over there? What? Wait, there's a side path. This freaking mazes, man. The hole is is in there. What? Rude. It's in the same room the museum, uh, I mean, not the museum, the, uh, the crystal is in. <sighs> Jeez, thanks for showing me right now. Well, okay. Which means this was freaking a dead end where I am. Let's get out of here. I guess the start and where I first put was, are equally dead ends. I need to go through here instead. Okay. up over here okay the hole is right there it's really close there you go <sighs> hole hell okay so now seems to be just a normal slope except hmm i don't know let's just go through it i don't know <sighs> all right well let's get more of a straight shot hopefully still way high. No, I was trying to hit the wall at the end. Didn't even work out. Okay, like, rotating along here is not even good. That didn't make it any better. I wish there was a way to re reset your view back to a more normal one instead of manually messing with it. Let's try here. Uh, it's gonna go, it's gonna completely overshoot, and I'm I'm going to be kicked out into the where, where the hell is the all there is the freaking find hole ball and crystal buttons. Crystal, please tell me some. The floor tiles are slices of the four, twenty-four cell. All right, it neatly tiles all of forty space. And, and makes the four-color theme a thing of the past. Is this the straightest line you've ever seen? Because it... No, it isn't. <laughs> no, there's... There, why? Just why? Here you go. I'm gonna fall out of the fourth dimension now. Is there gonna be another one? Like, why is there an upwards thing here? There's another ramp that I that uh, I need to rotate to see. I mean, I see the ramp in red view. Here, there we go. And there's a higher platform, but I'm still not in view to see it. There, kind of. Okay, okay. Flawless. There you go. There you go. 
should be just one. My gosh. All I'm gonna say is we're beating this par guy's score a lot. Rotations happen in a plane. This distinction is important because in four dimensions we have two sets of ro double rotations. Oh no, double rotation platforming, and I need to get in like that slice in the middle probably in order to even get over the gap. Hmm. I mean, is that even going to be in a good location, or do I need to stand in the middle of this gap instead? Like... <laughs> no, no. Am I going to time this from a distance when, like... <sighs> what? Alright, I didn't even manage to hit the edge of that platform. What does it look like in this view? See, it looks like it looks straight from this view, but I know gravity's gonna take a hit. And like, if I do this, I just want to see. It, yeah, that what happened in this there is the representation of gravity making me fall. But what? What the? How did I rotate my view so this is what it looked like? No, what the hell? That looks like it's going up, and there's a good slope for me now. When that wasn't possible before. Oh my gosh. Fake slopes. I mean, it would be very nice if I could rotate this so in a way where it looked like I had a good slope instead of a nothing. I'm worried this is just like an optical illusion, though. There we go. Thank you for this slope, by the way. Alright, now we're gonna get some wisdom from the obelisk of crystal knowledge. This shape is called a tiger, revolving a torus around another torus. The duo is the same path as the duo cylinder boundary. I love these floating 40 objects. It looks very edible. It looks like a mouth. I want to eat one side of the donut and and have the and not eat the other side. So the other donut is floating outside of my 3D stomach. Anyway, what where, where's the balls? Where is it actually? Probably around a wall then. Mm. In order to find, in order to get to the hole, there it is. Okay, it should just be like here. There we go. <sighs> Magnum opus. Great. So we have this thing that is flashing, and um, this thing is a huge maze, pretty much. And if I do this going outside the axis, then I'll never be able to luck into getting that. In, in the first stroke, although it's very unlikely that I'll be able to be bouncing all over this stuff. Okay, well... We still want to pretend like we have a chance of one-shotting into there. Hmm... Alright, well... Once again, I'm going to try to rotate into here, because if I don't hit any of these, which is going to be difficult, then I would like to be able to connect into that area. Now, this is bad. I, this thing is horribly in the way. Let's just go here instead. Alright. Ow. Ow. Wow. <laughs> it really doesn't want me in there, does it? Okay, here. Okay, it's like... Around there. I don't have that unreasonable of a viewpoint into there. Although it's gonna be very tight. Like, no. There's something that's still in the way of it. Hmm. Apparently, I'm not moving that hard in the 4D axis if... I don't know. If, if the things are seemingly just dodging me a little bit. Okay, on second thought, I might have been actually really touching the 4D axis. Anyway, here is the thing. Which I'm apparently to the side of. Here, come on. There we go. All right, now here's the here's the <clears throat> fun part, where I need. What if we find hole? 
Pine hole makes it seem like there's freaking nothing. Okay, um... We need to go up this thing. What happens after, I have no idea, because... It seems like we're not going to really find solid ground afterwards. What the? Nice 40 elevator system you got going there. Okay. Alright. Hole. Seems like a one hit. There we go. Mm. Where can I find my friend's leaderboard so I can not feel as bad about myself? Witnessing your dedication and resilience is inspiring. The last week because I came from a universe of two time dimensions, so they were quite confused. They always arrive far too early, we're perpetually running late, but I'm glad we see eye to high, Hugh. Your journey is not over yet. Fissure. But not of Oz variety. Anyway. What, what am I even... Like, is there a lava thing? Gravity's gonna make ruin of that, so... It seems like we just want to make a very small uh, hit into here. And a small hit into there without falling to gra- Thanks, Spaghetti Monster. Right here. Then... Here. And yes, I, I am very well aware that the things that you can't see in Volume View represent like a falling into a hole uh, or falling out of bounds in the non-Volume View. Hmm. So we have this, but also, of course, there's another ramp next that we would have to go to next words. No, no, no. Damn it. Three? I mean, two and a half. Here we go. Now we're trying to set up for the next ramp. Just goes over there. Let's go two and a half again. Alright. Oh, seriously? Here. Make it more solid, I don't know. Alright, now switch to the hole, angle towards the hole, and there we go. Slow and steady. Alright, so... Oh no. Are there moving platforms anywhere here? There's like a, a slope there that I can see. Volume view, this looks like... It looks like absolutely nothing. Wonderful. Is everything slightly... Like, why can't I see anything in volume view? And I fell into the lava while spectating. Amazing. Hmm. <sighs> wow. Okay. I guess that's... I guess the things that were walls were the guardrails that were in every previous level. And now there's no guardrails. Volume view cannot extrapolate those walls at all. So you just get... You can't see it at all. Rest in peace, volume view. Alright. Over the... Oh my god. But there's no way I can get over that slope in my current angle. Hmm. Please... Oh my... Here. Alright, next... Where's the hole? Over there, okay, okay. So technically I could make this in one shot. Unlikely though. Oh nice. Alright, gears. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Once again we can barely see anything going on in that view. We also couldn't get any crystals in hell. Got a bouncy surface, which I personally can't enjoy, and only the ball can. Alright, let's just try to make our way over then. Hmm. And then we have to deal with the freaking thing that's going in between 4D slices there. Uh, after this challenge. After the windmills. 
Okay, here's the actual 40 part of the gulf. Wow, how is that even possible, man? Okay, I guess they're 40 windmills, which is not better. Especially because they can still kick me into a dimension where there is no ground. Well, there's a very little bouncy platform I can see here, so we're going to have to do it this way. Oh my god. Am I, am I cursed? Here. So, guess you just can't do it with that much speed, huh? Let's try to get on like the side of this thing. Oh, so there's more... Uh, like, more of an opportunity to do this, and at a low power, so I don't get way too high. Alright. Rotate into where the hole is, and let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, so once again, we're introduced to the Golden Death Cult. Where that increases your height, and there might be some in 40 as well. Although I don't think any of these are actually 40 as as of yet. The hole is just right there. It's pretty normal to me. Clueless 3D beings see no problem here. Alright. So that's about one, probably. Slightly less than one. There you go. Rocky Road. Okay, so now there's a ramp-ish object. Are there any walls? I mean, there's kind of some. We're going down this ramp and into here. Just more hill stuff. Oh, and I just died into lava. Hold on. Back to this view. And my freaking 40 view has somehow changed. Wonderful. Alright. I still think there's a ramp here. That wasn't where it started at. Hmm. Maybe I mirrored myself and I didn't notice. Mm. Two. Oh my god! It's less than two, one and a half. Why did I just do one and a half again? At least it brought me here. Okay, okay, so the hole is... There. Which is not that far from our current axis. Two. Damn it. It's green, so I should need to worry that this is a sloped, considered a slopey thing. Okay. Oh my god, no guardrail! Freaking guardrail disappeared on my face. And one point, and 1.5 is too slow to... 1.8? To... I don't know. Here, please, please don't fall. Okay, so now the whole dimension is, I, I think, not far from here. What? What? Wow, it took a long time for that to decide that it was grounded. Anyway, we're going to have to rotate because we're not on a view of the whole can see. Okay. Okay, right, here we go. So now we got this thing in the middle, a sphere. But can we fall onto the onto that stuff? The ball could really use a lava bath at this moment in time. Let's go like here. See, like what is that? The hole looks like it's there, but I bet it's not as easy as actually getting there. This view implies I really just actually want to go down. I mean, I can land on down there, so I should. And that hole is over there. Okay, okay, okay. 
This freaking, this is a very rude design that the freaking developer keeps doing where there's a symmetrical thing that go, <laughs> so it maybe it looks like you're trying to get to the other end of the symmetrical thing, like, like on this symmetrical platform, but really there's some other freaking middle path and <sighs> yeah, it's just annoying because the hole is so hard to find sometimes. All right, so there's a big fall. Screw this. Just, just go as hard, hard as you can. <laughs> Rewarded. Alright. Should be slightly more than one. Look at that! Finally something that isn't embarrassing. It's too under par. There you go. We're inside a volcano. Doesn't even seem like there's a way out. There's a ramp here. Alright, we, we want to make this platform appear solid, right? That, that'd be like 40 balance. Seriously, three is not enough. Okay, now we need even more because we're doing at it from a from a larger distance. Okay, now <sighs> I'm gonna have a stroke. Fuck it, five. <laughs> Can I land on a background object and win the level instantly, like in Wii Sports? Oh, oh no! What the hell is going on there? There's side slope traps, too? Hmm. What is this, pinball? Biggest scams of all time. Okay, look, we finally made it up. Somehow. And... The hole is within the third... the, the middle pinball. I'm pretty sure I do not have a path to it, but it's hard to tell. It really is. Is this where I was? What the hell is this? So there, there are three paths. I freaking died. It's so easy to die. One of them leads back to the starting point, which is something I do not want. There is, there is a troll one that is to the right of me. And there's something on the left, which I guess I haven't explored the left enough. But... It might- it's- it seems like it's just another troll path in the same way, but if you have a- if you do it this with enough speed, it is possible to probably bounce away from the troll path. Hmm. Okay, like, this is- like, the left side might be equivalent, I'm not sure. It certainly felt like it would have equivalently kicked me down, but we can try, I guess. Here. Okay, okay, so the idea is you make this kind of hit, Hitting onto that wall on purpose, and then landing in one of those safe locations. Like, this is a safe location to the side of the hill. And then you want to land in that other safe location, which is that hole there. Although, I don't know why it's pointing there. It's implying that it's the far hole. Uh, so, maybe, maybe try three and a half to land directly in it. Oh my god! Okay. Slightly more than three and a half. What the hell? All right, hole. There, you, there you freaking are. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> 